new media class. Uh, we're, we're supposed to do an interactive art project. Uh, to where we, we go out and we find ways to interact with the public and that brings them into the piece. Uh, my initial idea was to get set up in some stocks, like you know, like medieval times, and have people throw vegetables and stuff at me. But for one, I couldn't get the permit yet, and two, uh, my teacher was afraid I'd get hurt. I was, my, I was gonna see how cruel people would be to strangers. But this way I can create an interactive art project and uh, uh, I hope that if I do get kicked out of here, I can go down to Eureka Playground and have some kids play with paint and stuff like that, so that'll be fun. Um, but one, uh, I was just hoping to uh, yeah. get people, like just strangers interested in like making spontaneous art. Uh, that was really just the whole, the groundwork for it. Um, you know, make myself the canvas and stuff like that. Um, but really, I just, I, I just kind of wanted people to come out here, have fun, make a little, you know, splash some paint around and stuff like that. And uh, I, was, I pretty much didn't think it up out much farther than that. <laughs> um, well, we got mustard, we got acrylic paint. Um, and we're mixing it with latex paint so it's more splashy. And then I'm really hoping that everybody just comes up with their own materials. Um, I just wanted to give them a groundwork just to add color to me, but anything anybody wants to throw on me, can I can. I think it's a really good idea to try and see what people actually do and um, see where they'll go with the project whenever they, he leaves it up to everybody else. When more people come out here, he'll be able to see if you know more people participate. Maybe he can get an entire family to do it. Do something together and get uh, help someone out for an art project. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't anticipate this. I'm not the most intelligent person that's going to have an art student.